think today we're in a position where AI is, 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 is a buzzword and it's really taking off. But behind the buzzword, there's actually a big trend in creating in machine learning that has powered a lot of the innovation we see uh, in the recent years, not inside information technology, but actually in other, in other industries, um, in, in manufacturing and in, uh, in, auto, in cars and in a lot of other industries. I think that's what people have started to, to notice. What we will see is people starting to move away from the academic demonstrations of technology into more uh, industry use cases. So a lot of the innovation started from specific professors that, that sort of came up with these algorithms. And now we're starting to see more and more companies taking the algorithms and using them for different problems. So rather than as a fraud detection tool, we augment the user's ability. So in a normal system, you'd have to create rules based on your knowledge of what is fraud, and you have to manually review lots of cases. And we try to make that process uh, easier for the user, not eliminating the user from the equation, but making it far more uh, efficient in terms of economies of scale. We're using machine learning because that's the, the easiest way to train a computer program when you create a set of rules. It's very difficult for a man to come with all these scenarios, but for a machine it's very efficient. I don't think there's a, there's a serious threat to jobs because new jobs will appear and current jobs will, will be more efficient. Uh, but people will, should, I mean, on the individual level, try to learn how to use those technologies for their personal gain. I don't think it's a threat, I think it's a challenge. I think we, we as a society have to find a way to live with technology. And we find that, and as long as we acknowledge that there's a challenge for our society, then there's no problem. If we ignore the problem, I see, I see some people getting hurt from this. But if you're talking about society where there's discussion and, and if the parliament is talking about it and there is definitely public attention to this field, then there's no need to be worried about the machines taking over uh, or anything like that.